Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Stardust Siren. Today I'm going to go through the February Tamed Wild Self-Love Ritual. So here is the card that came in the box. These are the tools. It's just a reminder of what came in the box. We've designed this ritual to engage with the teachings of Anahata, the fourth chakra, and the gateway to our higher consciousness. The heart chakra is the home to understanding, compassion, and devotion. This ritual has several steps. Ideally, it's best to perform when you have an evening to yourself or at least a few hours of undisturbed me time. Begin with the pre-ritual bath. Grab the bath bomb and any herbs or oils you'd like to include. Roses, jasmine, lavender, and thyme are all wonderful plant allies that connect us to the subtle energies within the heart chakra. Gather your coziest clothes, robes, fuzzy socks, slippers, whatever makes you feel warm, soft, and secure, and head to the bathroom. Whether you choose to take a bath, a shower, or participate in symbolic hand washing is up to you. Whatever you decide, spend ample time sensing the water droplets as they envelop your skin and cascade off your body. As your body warms and circulation increases, ask your highest self to release any unfavorable thoughts that have taken up residence in the physical body, specifically in the heart center. Finish your bath, get dressed, brew a cup of heart chakra tea, and return to your sacred space. So first thing is to bathe with the bath bomb that came in the box. This really cool amethyst one. And I think it's in, it's infused with lavender. So I'm going to go do that and change into some comfy clothes, including my robe, and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Let's see what it says to do next. It says, um, finish your bath. Get dressed, brew a cup of heart chakra tea, and return to your sacred space. Okay, so let me brew some tea. This is the heart chakra tea. It has hibiscus petals, orange zest, lemon balm, cloves, lavender, licorice root, and stevia. I love how these come in resealable little pouches. All right. Oh, it smells really good. So I'm just going to add a couple spoonfuls. It doesn't say how long to steep it. I'm going to go with about mm, five to six minutes. Okay, I'm going to add my hot water. And I will be back. Okay, I think my tea is done brewing. It's pretty. Wow. Let's try it out. It tastes pretty good. You can definitely taste the licorice in it. Okay, move my teapot out of the way. All right, let's continue reading. So next it says, in lieu of sitting on the floor, find a comfortable chair and sit in front of your altar, desk, table, or another surface where you can keep an eye on your posture while writing love letters. Sit up straight, shoulders away from the ears, chest open, and heart chakra expanded. Display the lotus cloth on your altar slightly off-center to your non-dominant side. So I have the lotus cloth here. Let me move my tea out of the way. Okay, so my non-dominant side is my left side. I'm right hand dominant, so I'm just going to move it over here. Rest the five blank cards in the center of the lotus and place the fluorite stone atop the stack. So let me get those out. These are the 
cards that came in the box. Okay, put those in the middle of the lotus and get my fluorite stone. on top of the cards. Okay. One by one, remove a card from beneath the fluorite and begin writing your love letters. As you finish each card, tear off a small corner and place inside of the locket before moving on to the next. When all five letters are complete, it's time to send them to their rightful owners. Leave the love letter for a stranger at a threshold, the edge of the woods, the gates to a cemetery, the mouth of a cave, a windowsill or in front of a mirror will do just fine. The letters for your inner child, present self, and future self should be addressed and mailed to your home. When they arrive, read aloud and record your thoughts and emotions in your journal. If you prefer to send these letters energetically, use fire as a messenger. Head outside or stand near an open window if igniting on a burn plate. Or toss them one by one into a lit fireplace and let the wind carry your words skyward where they will dutifully find their way towards their rightful owner. So I'm going to look back and it says uh, the first love letter you should write is to your childhood self. Reconnect with the inner child who lives in the heart and is often silenced with age. So this one will be to my childhood self. Now, I'm not going to show everything I write, but I'm going to address these and then finish writing off camera. Oh, put the stone back on. Okay. So. Dear childhood self. I will finish writing that off camera. The next one is yourself in the present moment. your present self. Okay. The next one is your future self. Next one is a mentor, lover, former or current, friend or family member who's left a lasting imprint on your soul. Dear love. And the last one, this beautiful wolf, is, it says, finally write a love letter to a stranger who might benefit from your successes, failures, wisdom, and life experiences. Dear stranger. Okay, I'm going to finish these letters off camera 
and I will be back to do the last part of the ritual. Okay, so now that I've written the letters, I am going to do the last part of the ritual that says, um, as you finish each card, tear off a small corner and place inside of the locket before moving on to the next. Oh, well, I did this out of order, so I did all the writing, and now I'm going to put them in the locket. So this is the locket that came in my box, and I saw online that, um, I think everyone got a different locket, or at least there was a few different options, but there's mine. I'm going to set that to the side right here. Okay, so the first card that I wrote was to my childhood self. So I'm just going to cut the corner off right there. The next one was to my present self. The next one was to my future self. Next one was to a lover. And the last one was to a stranger. That went under the purple before I couldn't see it. it blended in there for a second. Okay, so now I'm going to open my locket. And place all five corners. In the locket. And then this will be displayed on my shelf. I will put them in the envelopes and I will address them and send them or leave them where they are supposed to be left. I just love these illustrations on these cards. They are so pretty. And last but not least, the beautiful fox. Okay guys, that's it for this um, self-love ritual. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, just one last look at the ritual card and the tools that came in February's Tamed Wild Box. Um, I hope you join me for my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.